Ah, look at that. <laughs> it's like 10 inch wheels on that. Dude, that car looks so funny. I mean, I get it. I get it. it's it's cool. It's its own culture, you know. It's like the Harley Davidson guys. I mean, there's those guys that do that with their cars. <laughs> and honestly, I think it's kind of awesome. <laughs> Cuz it's different, man. It looks awesome. It looks crazy. I'm sure it can bounce. I'd love to see it bounce. But I think it's cool, honestly. Everybody's got their thing. Mine happens to be motorcycles. And stuff that goes boom. SpaceX Starship serial number nine. They did actually launch the thing finally today after a month of waiting. Okay, it's 117 Central Time. That means 1217 here. And they've got recondenser um, going, so tank farm activity next. This is, uh, you know, take about an hour or so. Um, I think I'll just tap me a sandwich and wait. Keep waiting, keep waiting, and waiting, and waiting. It's December, or no, it's December right now. No, it's not. <laughs> it's February 2nd. And, uh, you know, I think. Some of this SN9 speculation has been, uh, you know, they had it rolled out there before Christmas, or around Christmas. And some people were speculating that it would launch before New Year's, but uh, that didn't happen either. So, um, we're just kind of waiting now. It's February 2nd. It's been a month. There's been FAA delays and stuff that have bothered, well, I'll be honest, bothered me. Anyway, we can... You're looking at Starship serial number 9 on the right. We are counting down for today's 10 kilometer test flight. We've just passed the T minus four minute mark. We are currently loading liquid methane and liquid oxygen propellants onto Starship. Today's flight will be similar to our previous flight last December. Okay, they're tri-venting now. What that means is around the cylinder of the rocket, there's vents at every at 120 degrees, um, three of them. So uh, one for each Raptor engine that's under there. So what they're doing is they're chilling the engines. It's when they run liquid oxygen through the engines to cool them down to make sure they're cold when they fire them. And uh, they say that's a good sign, like 12, 15 minutes until they launch. So that's a good sign. And we're getting a frost ring around there too, right around where those tri vents are. There's a frost ring that comes up and gets everything frosty. Get it, Frosty! T minus two minutes, continuing to count down on the flight of Starship serial number nine. That's the vehicle on the right of your screen, currently venting. On the left is Starship serial number 10, which is also being checked out for a similar flight later this month. T minus one minute to the launch of Starship serial number nine. Okay. Propellant loading That's is complete. Minute. Next event is a retract of the quick disconnect from the SpaceX flight here, vehicle. Tim Dodd here and NASA space flight here. I just want to be able to hear them all freak out. <laughs> Your phone's on. 40 seconds. See SpaceX clock is the right one. That's the one they're, they're firing from. 30 seconds. It might scrub sometimes. I mean, I've seen these things count down to one second and they scrub. <laughs> Watch for the detanking. Um, if they scrub, it'll detank at the vent about halfway up. 
Hold it 13 seconds. <laughs> Hold it. Oh, there it goes. 10, 9, Ten, eight, nine eight, 7, seven six, 6, 5, four, 4, 3, three two, 2, 1. one. There, they lit it. They lit it. They lit it. They lit it. There it goes. Come on. Oh, no. Let's go. 10 seconds in. It's just like SN8. They've got the inside, inside the skirting where you can see all three engines. So we'll watch each one shut down and gimbal out of the way. <clears throat> Minute 25. <laughs> I wish I was there because Tim's talking about how you can feel it in your chest. I'll bet it's just an amazing sound. Minute 40 in. Oh, gosh, I wish that camera didn't go out. But I think they've shut one down at 146. Yep, shut it down. And then it, and see, then it vents a little bit. Some of the liquid oxygen that vents that out after it turns off. <clears throat> two minutes. Two minutes. In, two flight three. continuing on Starship. As a reminder, this is a test flight to a 10 kilometer altitude. We still got two burning. Engine number tail. three shut down on time as well, planned. Here. We're continuing to climb on two engines. Everything continues to go well with Starship. Oh boy, I hope I can pipe the sound in. I can't believe they're flying this thing. I'm so glad they got it done today. This is the second one. I'm trying to see. Two are still burning. At 245 right there. Watch for the second shutdown. They're gonna stick this landing. They're gonna stick this landing. Three minutes. It's always so surprised how high it goes. This is only supposed to be a 10 meter flight, but who knows how high they go. I, there's no telemetry or anything on this. Well, second engine shut down at 315, 316. T plus three minutes, 20 seconds. We've shut down on one engine, engine right now, on it's slowing down. You saw that on the screen just a few seconds ago. Starship now climbing on the like power of moving, engine but... number one, headed to the 10 kilometer altitude. 333. I think they lost the cameras inside the skirting. <clears throat> okay, 348. I'm gonna watch for the engine shut down. Four minutes. T plus four minutes. Vehicle is at 10 kilometers. Watch it's for that third engine shut down then it'll pitch over. We're continuing to throttle down engine number one to hold altitude. <coughs> That's just me. We're preparing for handover on the propellant tank. You can see the rockets firing to orient it. Is that the shutdown? 425? Four and a half minutes, we are handing off to RCS. the LOX tank. We are beginning to flip the horizontal. In the white cloud, the plume you were seeing was intentional. Here that is a liquid oxygen dump. 
We've now transitioned to horizontal and oh, beginning so the subsonic test portion of the flight where we check out the wow, aft and the forward flaps to hold the vehicle deep. stability as we descend back to, to the landing pad. This time. <sighs> it's so funny. The guys on NASA space flight, their voices elevate like five octaves. <laughs> Five minutes in, 5.06. <coughs> Excuse me. Now it's just completely quiet and just floating down. I always love this shot. The SpaceX cameras just are, keep cutting in and out, but that's all right. What do you expect? T plus five and a half minutes. Starship they continuing the subsonic stable. descent using the forward and aft flaps to control its attitude as we come back down to the landing pad. Oh boy, the landing flip. Just gotta Everything watch it. Everything continuing to go well in this portion of flight. Come on, computer, don't run out of space. <laughs> it's flat, look at this, perfectly flat. Land intro. Just floating down, just falling out of the sky. Oh, here's the pad cam. The pad cam is the coolest one. Here it comes. Six minutes, ten seconds into flight. We're down beneath one and a half kilometers. We're preparing to restart two Here it engines. Comes. It's gonna flip. Flip the vehicle gonna vertical, flip. then transition to one engine for the landing burn. It's gonna flip. Here's the relight. Flip. Oh no! Oh my gosh, it came inside! Oh no! That is amazing! Oh shit! Didn't flip. Oh, there's the sound. <laughs> Six minutes and 26 seconds, and it is. Well, gone. Not that an opening three at this time. <laughs> we will start sweeping for fires. <sighs> they can't. <laughs> they can't seem to get that landing. Oh, man. As you can see from the uh, scene, we had again, again another great flight up to the 10 kilometer apogee. I don't know why they can't stick we that landing. We demonstrated the ability to transition the engines <sighs> to the landing propellant tanks. It just tanks. came in sideways. That's the just subsonic reentry looked very good and out. stable like we saw again last December. So we've got a lot of good data on flap control. <laughs> and again, we've just got to work on that landing a little this bit. This one spread a but lot But we'll find more. out uh, from the team as they go through the data. We were in contact with telemetry all the way down. So all... Told. What is the Another problem with that? Why can't they remind that every this time? This is a test flight. <laughs> Second time we've flown Starship in this configuration. <coughs> we've got a lot of good data and the primary objective uh, to demonstrate control of the vehicle in the subsonic reentry. The second engine didn't uh, fire. That's to what be they're very saying. Good, and we will uh, take a line out of that. Never and flipped. with that, All the way. we're going to wrap up today's webcast. Thanks for logging on and watching, and we'll be back with another Starship in uh, the near future. It doesn't look like any... SpaceX went off. They shut it down. <laughs> yeah, SpaceX just shut down their feed. <laughs> Dang it, I wanted them to stick that one. Yeah, it's normal. I mean, it's only the second flight of this thing. <laughs> what do you expect? Uh, just yeah it just it rotated and then just like went right down like at an angle the explosion was spectacular <laughs> uh, I can't wait till they stick it it'll be so cool all right we'll get I'll give some links and stuff to so you can see all the official all the official feeds and stuff, but uh, that was just exciting for me. I thought it was awesome. <laughs> Can't wait for another one. SN10 is on the on the launch pad, ready to go. Who knows? I mean, they've still got to cryo test it. They still got to pressure test it. They still got a st static fire. They'll probably do two or three static fires. Could be a month before that one launches, so it's gonna sit there for however long. Besides, they got to clean up the pad now. I think it hit the pad. But uh, they'll have to clean it up and if, if it, because like SN8 broke out some of the concrete. So um, 
they'll have to fix the concrete and all that stuff but uh anyway watch the other reactions watch the other feeds the ones that were live are really fun to watch so i'll put links in the description and it was fun but this one i'll tell you i i honestly think that the sn8 performed better i expected sn8 to do what sn9 did because it just came in sideways it hardly even got its bottom turned toward the earth again But SN8, man, it it almost had it. I mean, it was so close. So that's why everybody thought maybe, or and I thought that that SN9 would stick it, you know. But uh, no such thing, man. Another beautiful explosion. It was pretty, really cool. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, thanks for watching my reaction to the SN9 test launch. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, give this video a thumbs up, and uh, we'll continue from there. Next week, here's a preview for you, <laughs> we're going to be doing the hydraulics on the brake lines, front brake lines on the 2004 V-Rod. Uh, they're going to look cool. I'm going to do the uh, braided stainless steel lines and uh, get it working. Need some new dot four and uh, bleed it off. I can do all that. It's not a bad job. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>